everyone welcome to Detroit <laughs> well, I stepped off the plane onto the uh, onto the whatever that thing is called the, 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 the you know the sky bridge is that what it's called it's cold here yeah yeah it's cold anyway I gotta find where my my ticket doesn't say what terminal I have to get to so I've got to find it this is a big airport. Look at this. Like 70 something terminals. Uh, oh, there's more than that. Anyway, I'll figure it out. We're in Michigan, baby. I found my gate. I don't know where it is. I just saw something that said, the express tram is the fastest way. <laughs> So wherever I need to go. Oh, so this is like the Sky Train in uh, Phoenix. All right, this works. I hope I need to find coffee. For real. We will soon arrive at the terminal station serving gates 829 through 855. Yeah, that's not where I need to go. I came out of security to get some fresh air. I regret it. Michigan is cold yeah i'm oh. heading to concourse b and i saw a sign that I, I will be treated to a light show under the tunnel we'll check it out i know it said light show but i don't know i'm a little disappointed i thought it was gonna have more I can move and I don't have to walk. It's nice. Almost done. Have a lit and deplaned. If you have any spare looking batteries in your carry on bag, you need to remove them, they need to be on your person. Also, uh, all right, let's go get my bags. Get my bag here on the gate information display lines are here next to the Christmas tree. And I need some coffee. <laughs> I was not enough, I was doing this one that flies up. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. I've been awake for. Ooh. Too long, too long. Got my bag in one piece. It's a little wet in the bottom, but that's okay. All right, I need to get to door three because I need to catch a public transit bus to a shuttle bus. Uh, where's door three? Yeah, it's door three. <laughs> it has a three, how convenient. And then from there, I go to my final destination. Here I am with Gerald R. Ford. He's a lot bigger in person, man. You are, you are giant size. Look at this. Look at the look size of his head. Brother. <laughs> cool dude, Ford. Here's my bus. Let's go. Ow. Okay, let's leave it. I made it. Now I have to take this to another bus another 
city bus and then take the city bus to the Greyhound kind of, you know, tour bus station and then take that to my final destination. Almost there. Thank you to the bus driver for the help. You gave me some crucial information. All right, I am at the uh, Greyhound kind of station, wherever. And the bus I'm waiting for doesn't come until like three in the afternoon. It'll be right there. But it is only 11 o'clock, so I have four hours to burn. And he told me, well, there's not really any fast food in this area, which is surprising. But there's a free bus that goes around the city and it runs like every 15 minutes and it'll get me to a McDonald's or a Burger King or something. So I'm gonna go check that out. Boy, it's cold in Michigan. But then again, I am wearing, I'm still wearing shorts. <laughs> I am not prepared for Michigan weather. Oh, let's go. So you see this bus over here, the pink one? That's the free one, but it's going the wrong way. The bus driver said, I should wait for the bus right here going that way and it'll get me to Burger King or McDonald's faster than that one will. That's some insider knowledge. And that would prob probably take me like a month, two months to figure out on my own. You gotta meet a local. People are nice in Michigan. I, both bus drivers I've had so far were nice. I see it. I think I see it. Burger King, that's where I wanna go. Oh, <laughs> the little white man popped up and I wasn't paying attention. I could have been standing at that corner all day. I hung out at Burger King for long enough. We got a drink to go. Now it's time to get back to the bus station. It's cold. I need to put on a hat and some pants. <laughs> <laughs> what time is this only one o'clock this is gonna be a rough day it's gonna be cold <laughs> i had to bundle up man i got the jacket on the pants on yeah a little um do-rag on Woo. Woo. it's chilly i can put gloves on but i'm not gonna put those on yet that's 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 the final measure putting gloves on uh now i'm waiting for the pink bus i could go over to that one on the other side and go directly back to the bus station but there's no need to so i'm gonna take the whole route all the way around the city and back to the bus station you know get a tour and get the ride on the bus and stay warm for a little bit because i still have like an hour and a half two hours before i have to be there you know what on second thought i'm not taking the long bus route i don't want to miss my bus to uh my final destination oh and the moment i step across the moment i step across look what comes the bus <laughs> ah, it's okay it's okay uh, that one says clockwise you see on the front it says clockwise i need to find the one that goes counterclockwise that's what i need man the moment i step across the street the moment i step across the street he shows up it is what it is i'm here at the bus station waiting on the bus and uh, up on this overpass, something got rear-ended. It was a big thump. Oh boy. Here, I'll turn it around. This car right here got rear-ended and turned around and ran into the barrier. Fire's here. Oh, I hope they're okay. And these other cars, I don't know if that silver one was involved. The white one pulled over later. I think it was a hit and run. Ooh, I hope they're okay. So, fires first. Where are the police at? I'm still here watching the drama unfold. And then I just looked around, you know, taking the city a little bit. It's, it's a lot different than being out in the woods. I looked up at this building. And there's a guy up there on a scissor lift on the edge of the precipice. What? <laughs> Here, I'll show Look you. Look at this guy. A scissor lift in the center of your screen. It looks as if he's hanging off the edge. Man. Further update. More vehicles have arrived. More police officers. And then some kind of a... Uh, you don't see that van? It's like a traffic van. 
Anyway, they initially put the lady, the driver, into the ambulance, but then another car pulled up, which uh, I guess is a friend or family member of the driver, and they pulled her out of the ambulance and they're letting her go in the other car. So she must not be hurt too bad. And all the other cars that seem to be involved have left. So they must have just been, you know, bystanders or good Samaritans. It was a hit and run. There's my bus. Time to go. I'm almost to the end. I can't tell y'all where I'm at yet or where I'll be. I'll have to make another video on that.